few things are as guaranteed to set pulses racing among watch fans as a hand-wound Swiss chronograph. Originally indispensable tools, they've become something of a rare breed. This is the Vacheron Constantin Harmony Handwound Chronograph. Evidently a beautiful chronograph from one of Geneva's oldest and most respected watch brands, it takes a dive under the dial to understand exactly why it's so special. Chronographs first appeared on watches in the 1910s. They were, of course, hand-wound, meaning you had to use the crown to wind up the mainspring. This powered both the watch and the chronograph function. Automatic or self-winding watches came along later, at the end of the 1920s, but it wasn't until 1969 that anyone managed to combine automatic winding with a chronograph function, as both the self-winding rotor and the chronograph mechanism occupy the same position on a movement. That breakthrough came at the end of what's considered the golden age of chronograph watchmaking. From the 1930s to the 1960s, a number of exquisite hand-wound chronographs were designed to satisfy the demand for accurate on-wrist timing from the likes of racing drivers, pilots and astronauts. Fast forward to the present day, and although hand-wound chronographs have become obsolete, they've not been forgotten. Released by Vacheron Constantin in 2015, this watch is directly inspired by an archive model from the brand's past. Something you see in that unusual case shape with the lugs that extend smoothly from the sides of the case in one continuous curve, and the cushion-shaped raised bezel around the dial. But why does this watch even exist? Once the automatic chronograph had become the norm, if brands were going to persist with a hand-wound chronograph, there had to be a very good reason. It's arguably got something to do with the invention of the sapphire display case back. All the fantastic watches of the 1930s, 40s or 50s would have had solid metal backs. Now you can see the movement, the hand-wound chronograph really comes into its own. Unlike self-winding watches, whose movements are partly concealed by the rotor that powers the mainspring, hand-wound watches offer a gloriously unobscured view of the mechanism. And that gets right to the heart of the harmony. This watch is all about the movement. The Vacheron Constantin Calibre 1142, the piece of intricate machinery whose fundamental structure and operation hasn't changed in nearly 80 years. Press the pusher to start the chronograph, and you will see it engage as the column wheel turns, and the levers and hammers that connect the chronograph components with the main gear train of the watch click into place. Stop, then reset the watch, and you'll see them complete their cycle of movements. A front row seat to the miniature ballet of steel pieces moving with microscopic precision. All this is made infinitely nicer to look at thanks to something called the Poinçon de Genève, an independent stamp of quality bestowed upon very few watchmakers who meet a stringent set of criteria governing every stage of a watch's creation. The end result for the owner is a movement that is painstakingly finished wherever you look. Every surface is brushed, beveled, polished, or chamfered by hand. There are rubies in gold settings to ensure the frictionless movement of the wheels, and you can spot at least five different styles of finishing, depending on the component. It is quite literally flawless. The other main attraction to these old-style chronograph movements is the way they feel to operate. When you start, stop and reset a movement like the Calibre 1142, you feel the quality in your fingers, the palpable friction, the resistance of the spring-loaded clutch, the smoothness of the reset. Very few brands take the effort to produce watches like this. It's not about convenience or concessions to modernity. It's about passion. This is a complication that not only connects you with your watch, it connects you with watchmaking history.